Hello guys, this is Engineer Vakas Ahmed and in today's video I am going to share with you people for substation project. It is very important project for electrical engineers, for mechanical engineers and uh, this video belongs to the scope of work, documentation, how to define your project, WBS, how to define your project scope management. So that, that, that is the major problem for all the planning engineers that how to start with your project scope management. So here I'm going to share with you a document which I will scroll down and you will go through different kind of deliverables and you can be familiar if you belong to this job career like electrical engineer, mechanical engineer, power generation, job career line, and you are working in that field. So as a planning engineer, if you want to develop your job career, or you want to switch your job career as a planning engineer and you already have site expo year or you are just a fresh graduate so in this video i'm going to help you that how you have to develop all those concepts which are really mandatory at this stage so scope management is actually the very basic and very uh, you know mandatory and very required stage for the early project management application so here you can see that uh, on this side you can see the scope uh, baseline for our substation project that we are going to start you can use this uh, scope baseline as for your next substation project but i'm going through little bit in the details that how you have to compile your scope baseline and how you have to understand that uh, scope management will be done right so before everything is going to get into the construction phase you know that we have to start with engineering phase so here we have uh, you know engineering phase uh, first of all we know that our project have major discipline for civil engineering okay so we have to define our civil design then we have electrical design and uh, in civil design, you can have substation, general switch, yard layout, cable, trench, tray design, quarter building, boundary uh, wall, access road, con control building, guard house. So all these things, uh, all these products need to be developed or we need to develop engineering deliverables, right? Engineering documents or construction drawings or whatever. And then we have divided this design fit into two categories. The second one is electrical design. Under electrical design, we have substation earthing, we have substation shielding, we have illumination system design. So all these designing documentation belongs to another discipline, which is called electrical design. If you people going to comment under this video uh, or uh, you want to take the full, this PDF, our team is going to email you just right there electrical substation project our team is going to contact with you and you can exchange your email and get this pdf for you know your practice and all that so next see this is civil works so this is actually construction work has been started so quarter building single storied so you can see that up to plinth level all these activities right now i'm only talking about our scope baseline that how to compile that one you know that civil discipline is the major one over here so excavation of foundation so uh, soling pcc for footing all these activities are actually a set of small actions which are going to complete quarter building in this category up to plinth level then above plinth level then slab and then further on others so this is actually your scope baseline scope base why scope baseline is important because once you are going to document your scope baseline, you are going to define what you have to carry out on the site area. After that, after that stage, you can be eligible to implement your time management, cost management, resource management, risk management. As a planning engineer, it is very important to understand that all these things which I am actually explaining right now, different knowledge areas within project management are the key and very important tools for project planning engineer, okay? So that is why scope management, a lot of people in my previous uh, video, if you have not seen that video of oil and gas field, scope defining and documentation, a lot of people were commenting there, why did not you define critical path method? I have separate videos to define complete process, how to develop critical path method. But in these 
you know every kind of project different kind of nature of project the most important thing for early birds for the people who are fresh graduate it is most important i should um, uh, make them learn i should teach them that how to define your scope because every story of project management will be initiated the concepts development will be initiated after you learn how to document your scope okay so if you have want to see other videos oil and gas road construction building construction go to on my youtube channel and explore other videos as well so right now there is quarter building so it's obviously as per the scope of work up to plinth level all the activities are actually describing above plinth level slab one above ground floor slab two indoor others guard house up to plinth level above plinth level slab others all these activities you can document as per your scope management this is actually general kind of scope management plan okay i know that i'm not talking about a specific drawing okay all these things will be uh, i will share with you people over here that once you are let me share with you uh, you know that first of all you are going to make your engineering documents right your engineering documents, your drawings will be done. After these drawings, you are going to take off your procurement plans. Okay. After these procurement plans, you are going to take your construction plans. But these scope documents will be the generic ones. Okay. They can vary uh, if the, your drawings are going to differ, but on the major level, on the higher level, obviously you have to conduct for every substation civil work would be there electrical work would be there power and mechanical and all but they can vary from uh, you know uh, depending on the situation of that nature of project so here we can see that uh, switch yard foundation works okay line bay is there transformer bay is there see line bay in line bay excavation soling again the same kind of activities transformer bay uh, works are their structure for overhead str strung bus bars okay and cable trench entry excavation all this is actually going on for the first you have to complete your civil works then earthing steel structural works installation now we have seen that our installation work is started outdoor equipment actually these all categories is actually dealing with the outdoor equipment transformer circuit breaker disconnecting switches capacity Ter voltage transformer, current transformer, surge arrestor, stringer for conductor for bus bar, stringing of conductor between gantries, taping and connection of individual equipment, stringing of earth wire for shielding, protection, auxiliary transformer, indoor equipment, cable laying, wiring. So you can have testing and commissioning and then drawing and design finalization, civil design, cable trench and all that, electrical design. Uh, okay. So this should be, you see, this design oriented kind of things should be not here. It should be on the top of your WBS, right? How it would be like there, your first major WBS would be engineering. Under engineering, you should have all designing, uh, you know, WBS work packages and activities. Then you should have procurement. Okay. And then you have construction. Later, we know that project tailoring, project tailoring actually guiding us that as per the project nature, we can, uh, you know, change our project um, templates, change our project requirements, processes and all that. So as per our project management team instructions or client instructions, we can change our WBS. But I would recommend that design should be on the top. Obviously, it is on the priority need to be completed on the priority. Then after only after design is completed, we are supposed to start procurement. And after procurement, we can start because our construction activities uh, are depending on the procurement uh, plans for long lead items. So that's what we can define our substation uh, scope of work in terms of buildings and all that. And now you can see if you will acquire this uh, WBS, the mandatory requirement, if uh, you require this document, you need to comment on this video, okay? So the next thing, this dependency model. If you require this one, you can see that relationships are also highlighted on the other side of this Gantt chart area, right? So you can see that these are the start to start relationship activities and arrows actually showing dependency model. Whenever you are going to develop your project schedule, it is very important uh, to note that after defining your documentation uh, in terms of scope, WBS or uh, scope baseline, scope management plan, the second the most important thing to 
develop links to develop dependency that will lead you to develop critical path method and the second part second portion of this sheet is going to tell you that these arrows are actually showing finish to start relationships finish to start relationships and go on and go on like that one see black color liners are showing wbs okay that is the major thing you can highlight these are the wbs but just mention civil work is higher level wbs quarter building is the next breakdown of civil works and this is the lowest this is work package okay this is planning package this is civil work is the control account wbs so see how these activities see this activity what is this one quarter building quarter building is 30 days starting from 7th uh, 18th of july and this activity is actually just give me a moment quarter building right yes this line is coming down 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 and it is going to link up of this activity see excavation of foundation see so that's how you can identify your dependency model as well so this is very very important document and i hope you will understand the you know urgency of scope management plan development you need to learn the first step if you want to develop your project planning control engineering job career the first thing you have to understand scope how to develop anything either you talk about a cooking of biryani you need to understand how your recipe scope will be developed you have to document you have to write what kind of ingredients what kind of process involved to cook that biryani so that is called scope management okay i hope you like this video and if you want this document just write in comment area uh, substation electrical project my team is going to interact with you people thank you very much